Welcome back on Into Fox 43 AM Live. Today's book of the week comes from Miranda Erickson with the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. End this year with a book that'll have you looking back at the past with a new perspective. Check it out. Well, I'm back here at the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. It's time for the book of the week. Today we're talking about the other Eden. Mm. Okay. Ooh, this is so interesting, Dane, and it's a little different than books that I've brought recently. This is literary fiction, and it's historical fiction, mm -hmm. and it takes place on a tiny island off the coast of Maine in the early 1900s. So Paul Harding found out about this real place that's called Malago Island, and in his book he calls it Apple Island. And it is a place where a mixed race community had established themselves and thrived. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got like some Irish immigrants who were blown in some way or another <laughs> and a man who may or may not have been enslaved. And they landed in this area and started a family. And in this book in 1912, um, the government of Maine is like, we got to get those people off that island so we can create a cool resort and oh, get people yeah, here for tourism dollars. Mm -hmm. So this story really focuses on um, he's created personalities for people on the island, so you get to know them, get to know a little bit about what life was like on the island, and then you get to see these tensions developing um, as these people are forcibly removed from their home for the convenience of the government of Maine. So wow. It's really interesting, and that's the, the little part of time that this book covers, but you also get things like reports that were filed, interviews, um, so you get this rounded picture of what was happening in the outside world and mm. how this impacted people way down the line. So, talk a lot about generational trauma lately, I right? I know, yes. So this book kind of looks at that, at this one incident. And I tell you, it sent me down the rabbit hole of research. I had to go find out about this island. There's lots of photos and documentation. And the state of Maine has taken this opportunity to hold this up as an example of ways that government can be wrong to people and how we have to do better. <laughs> They've created a whole monument around it. Okay, so, so I was gonna ask, like, happy ending? Sort but, of. Uh, sort of, yeah. okay, okay. They created some funding to help descendants of these folks who were forcibly removed and scattered to various places, you know, through DNA tracing and people's genealogies. They've been able to establish that they are the descendants of these people and the state of Maine has tried to help rectify mm. some of their, wow. their error. Yeah. Wow. So I mean, up. so this book. So yeah, tell me about the heartbreaking. It sounds like it's going to be a really, really heartbreaking book right here. Yeah. The part about this book that's hard is that you get to know these wonderful, unique individuals mm -hmm. on this island. And I think his whole point is that these were families and people who were living their lives just like everyone else. And that in the in the context of the eugenics movement and wanting to get people into Maine and make money that it was very easy to steamroll them over. So you get these beautiful human stories, and then you also get this glimpse of ways that maybe even in the modern day, we can try to at least tell those stories and make it right. We never would have heard them. Wow. Yeah. Well, so it's just fascinating. I know. And this is just a beautiful, it's six hours on audio. It's pretty short. Yeah, it's not see. that back of a book, but mm -hmm. it says, I'm looking at like, Oh, yeah, I could read that. Yes. Here's a, this story is there's a teacher on the island, and so part of it's his perspective, getting to know where all these kids are at. There's a kid who's very gifted with languages, one who is a very gifted artist, and he's looking at this island, and he knows what's about to happen, even though the people there don't. So in this book, he identifies one of them and tries to send him out to get schooling elsewhere, and mostly it's just you feel this, this catastrophic wave coming for these people that they don't even know. <sighs> That's really good. You brought us a heavy book, Miranda. I did, oh. but also just again, you can see how excited I am. I know, because I'm, I, yeah, I can't. I am very intrigued by this story. The history, yes, I've gotten into kind of historical fiction. These kind of stories where you probably want to know about it no, unless you never heard stumbled of onto this kind of book. Yeah, amazing. Untold stories, mm -hmm. and yeah, and it gets you thinking, of course, about your own life and the history in your own area. So it has that kind of deeper ripple, but it's also just a beautiful, well-written story. So. Highly recommend it. I might have to check it out. The other Eden, come on down to Speak of Shining County Public Library and get a hold of it. Yes. <laughs> Miranda, thank you so much. You bet.